Hello. That was aggressive. That was so aggressive. Whatever. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be watching uh, Cursed. This video has taken a little bit longer to get out than I wanted it to. Basically, my last video was Warrior Nun and my intention was to do the last episode of Warrior Nun. So I recorded episode one, I watched episode one, I was gonna skip straight to the last episode. I did this, I did that, I skipped to the last episode and um, yeah, so for some reason, my uh, camera only recorded the first two minutes and that was it. So um, the finale was not great. That's the video, that was the video, essentially. It was, it was, it was a little bit, bit better than that, but you know, that was the general message. Today, I'm gonna to do the same thing, essentially. There's a new series called Cursed, um, which I've heard is really, really bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch the first episode, then I'm gonna skip to the last episode because I have no intention, I have no desire to watch the whole thing. So I'm gonna watch it completely out of context and make a completely unfair judgment on the whole series. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just go. Let's just get into this. And I, for the love of God, please record the whole thing. Very dramatic. Before Arthur the King. Don't try and be edgy. Like, <laughs> King Arthur, for let's do something different. What are you thinking? We're taking all we're taking all suggestions, guys. So uh, so so please uh, just just pipe up whatever you want, and we'll just we'll put it on the board, and we'll decide from there. Yes, yes, Phil, what you got? Arthur the King, work done. Let's go home. That's it. We've done it. We've done it. Arthur the King. There we are. This is the thing, this is what the show's based on, right? It's a whole, it's a different take on the King Arthur myth, I guess. Which in itself, well done for that decision. I'm all for telling the King Arthur myth. We, we've seen it so many times in the story so many times. It's like if you want to do something completely different or like a different angle for that story, brilliant, good, do different stuff. Good decision. That was the shittest pickpocket. I could pickpocket, all he did was grab it. There was no finesse, there was no like smooth little motion, it was just like, he yanked it. Witch. Piss off half of it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so CGI is pretty heavy so far. That is a traumatising situation first of all, right? You hear like some sniffing of an animal behind you, you, you I don't know about anyone else, right? But for me, okay, this this is maybe just my impulse, but if I hear like an animal sniffing behind me, for some reason my brain would all always go tiger. You're in the forest, you hear a sniff of an animal behind you, right? My my brain would go to the worst possible thing. I'd be like, panther, lynx. Turn around, there's a nice little deer there. It's like, oh, I look at it again. And that'd be a nice, nice little thing. And then the, the, the deer, the doe, it just suddenly goes, death. Then they get then they get shot. There was so much there. That was pretty cool. He deserved it. Nah, mate. Nah, they deserve that shit. I'll be honest with you. If I were, I would just take over. As sky folk, we are born in the dawn to pass in the twilight. Sorry, but in any other village at this time, surely she'd just be burned or drowned. That's pure witchcraft. Right there. There's no denying it. There's no subtlety to it. She wrapped a bow around that guy, right? She's got green veins. They've all got green veins. Okay, wait, is this a thing? Uh, okay, so it's like a conspiracy. They've all got like the power. Okay, so that's why she's not been killed yet, because they're all in on it. No. No, not her. <laughs> Sorry, but that... No. No. Put a bit more effort in, you know? A bit more conviction. I am so bored so far, like, I don't know what's happening. What is this? What's the significance? Why doesn't that guy, I d The will of the hidden is clear. The hidden? The sky folk? The summoner? Hi. Hi, Tyler. Would you like this platter of information right now? Right. It's up to you what you do with it, uh, but we're gonna throw this in your face and just see what happens. 
You good? You good? We, we, we're gonna like, it's gonna come straight at your fucking head. All of it, all at once. And uh, we're not gonna explain any of it. We're not gonna like uh, say, oh, this is a little bit, a little bit of chicken. That's a bit of broccoli there. That's a, it's a weird fucking platter. But point is, none of that. They're not explaining what is on the platter. They're just going, Gaga! Not a clue, mate. Not a clue what's going on right now. Oh, what's her to... deal? Oh my God, you're acting mad. Riding with you. That's a weird transition. That was such a weird transit. What the? Okay, okay, Tyler, it's fine. Just, just let it happen. What is that transition? In his image. This. No, hang on, hang on a minute. Go back. Go back. <laughs> no. Right. Okay. I wasn't going to mention it because it was a little bit odd. And I was like, no, Tyler, don't be mean, he can't help it. However, do you see what I am seeing? There is a smiley face on this man's head. There was a smiley face right there. I see it. Do you see it? Hang on. Because there's a bit where it goes into the light. Ah, oh, I missed it. I missed it. Hang on. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Hurry up. I'm going to get it. You can see it. You can see it. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, hang on. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll show you. You can see it, but there's like a bit. Ah, there we go. You can see it. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Do you think he knows? Do you think he knows about it? Do you think someone's been like, hey, Seth? I don't know his name. Seth, you got a smiley face on your head. What do you mean? Someone, someone drawn? No, 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 no. You, you, like your, your, the skin on your, the, your head's got. A s Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Just it's fine. It's fine. How do you approach that? Do you think anyone's to no? He well, he's an actor, so I guess now he knows. <laughs> I'd be so. F I'd be so. I don't know if I'd be happy about it actually. I'm not making fun of him. I think it's amazing. I think that's great. How strange is it? A scar? Is it a birthmark? I don't know. I've got so many questions. I like his voice though. His voice is very gravelly. And... Demons. That's not quite how it was. What in the fuck? I'm very young. Oh yeah, I I felt it. I was hearing, I was feeling a creepy vibe from this guy. Okay. The red robe should have been my first clue. Let's be honest. You're telling me that that whole scene, right? Now that we've got sound and we can hear the flames and the shouting and the clash of steel, you're telling me for that whole scene we couldn't hear that and that was that's a cheap trick. I don't like that. I don't like it. What is with this transition? No, I'm sorry. I'm not in for that at all. It's so distracting. It takes you out of it. And it's like, it's cool. I understand why they did it in a way because it looks cool. It looks cool. But for like a show, it just, that's such an odd choice. That is such an odd thing to do. I feel like they're going out of their way to be different. Do you know what I mean? But it's just not really, what the fuck's, what's going on with her then? What is she, a fairy? Whoever this character is, I'm in for it. I like it. Just don't be like, if this character comes in, I think it's overly dramatic, you know, like dramatic evil. I'm gonna be mad. You are Lord Grey River, four thousand gold coin. Isn't that Floki from I burned them all in a lightning Vikings? I like him. I like this guy. No, 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 no. It, it, there's no call for that type of thing, Lord Merlin. See, see what I mean? Edgy Merlin. The show is trying to be super edgy and different, and I'm not sure it's quite pulling it off. Maybe you really have lost your magic. What's up with her eye? Just to, for what reason? Now I've got questions. You can't have her come in. You can't have her come in. Have a line to Merlin with that. I wanna know her. What happened to it? Was it a fight? Did she fight someone? I should probably listen to this conversation. But for real, don't dangle that character in front of me and then just fuck off. You see, Borley, Merlin is a conflicted creature. Oh, this is the exposition. Great. I guess don't don't show us that Merlin has an investment in the Fae. Just tell us. Just tell us. Fuck it. Just just tell us the whole thing. Wow. This guy really wants rain. I will redouble my efforts, Your Majesty. Yes. Ah, I feel like, I feel like he's trying to go for like a kooky version of this character, like a little bit of a Jack Sparrow, do you know what I mean? Ah, I'm not that convinced by it. Do you know, look at that, look at that scene. Look at that movement and the way he did that, that was, he, like the, the vibe is Jack Sparrow. 
And I just feel like we haven't set that up. He's just gone straight into it. Do you know what I mean? We haven't had like, because like the first thing we saw of him was being like really badass and cool and calm and like, oh, I'm going to stick you with this knife and all that bollocks. And so you've got, you've got, you've got an image of that character already. That's the first time you see that character and he's doing that. But now it's like, no, 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 no. This character's kooky and he's fun. You can't start with one and then go to the other and have the other be convincing. Because I wasn't convinced by it. Have a scene to set up the Jack Sparrow kookiness if you're gonna go that way. The first scene that we see, let's go to Jack Sparrow, for example. The first Pirates of the Caribbean, our first introduction to Jack Sparrow is him sailing in on this little boat that's like slowly going under. And it's like, it's like, it's like a funny scene. It gives you like a little kind of snapshot of that character because he's proud and he's this captain. It's like Captain Jack Sparrow and he's on the mast and he's, you know, proud, chest out. And then he steps onto the, uh, to the dock and then he does the whole kooky thing with the thing, with the, with the guys, the dock masters, and then he steals the money. That tells you all you need to know about that character and what he's going to be for the film, right? And it engages you in that character. And with Merlin, they showed us that one scene and it's like, oh, okay, he's he's an edgy Merlin. He's he's like a little bit rough around the edges. He's aggressive. He, he'll he threaten someone with a knife. Cool, that's the way you're going. And then we have the kooky drunk. And it's like, wait, 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 hang on a minute. Which one is it? And I get that he can be both. But have that in the first scene with him in because otherwise... I'm going on about it, but like, it's just, it's subtle stuff that... That's why I'm not convinced by the whole Jack Sparrow kookiness that he seems to be trying to go for, is what I'm saying. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. <laughs> what? When what? Why? At least I get to keep you a bit longer. I see why she wants to leave. I know. I'll be Summoner and you marry Stinky Aaron. What's with this character? What's with this friend? With the hair twirling? Do, do, do people do that? She's very annoying to me. I like that they've got like really uh, kind of wondrous music right now. They're playing wondrous music like, oh my God, what an amazing place this is. Ha <laughs> ha. And it's like really grotty and dirty. Like, look at this shit. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to find this amazing and wondrous. It's fucking stone walls and wood and like grease. Sing high, lolly, lie, summer. Oh, this is the love interest then. <sighs> yep. One. Love interest. Oh, he's going straight in. He's straight on her. Cool. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get the love interest thing done in the first episode. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Get it going, mate. Let's have it done and wrapped up by the end of this episode so we can not do this the whole season. He does. Thank you for telling us that he fancies her. That we we couldn't work that the fuck out. I hate this friend. I hate her. I hate. I hate this friend. Oh my god. Drop this. I'd be so mad if I was that juggler. I'd be like, dude, can you just fuck off? I'm trying to make a living here right now. You just took my ball first of all. Then you said it was hers, and I was like. I get what you're trying to do and everything, but can you just keep me out of it, please? Thank you very much. Oh, you want my hat? Cool. Fuck off, mate. Just give me my hat back. I'm Arthur. Oh, okay. Of course he is. I suppose the juggler was a bit of a wingman there. Wingman mode. Can respect that. Get this friend out of here. Why is she, why is she there? Is she going to be important to the story? Is she going to have like a big role? Because if not, get her out. We've seen this before. We've, right, I've been watching this for half an hour now. We all know that she's gonna use magic, she's gonna win. Blah, 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 oh, for God's sake. It's just so boring. This is, we know what's gonna happen. We all know what's gonna happen. If you don't know what's gonna happen, sort your shit out. See, magic. Now everyone's surprised, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, just be original. You're trying to be original with everything. Arthur the King, edgy Merlin, edgy everything else. Stop using tropes. Boring. Can we just have the whole thing with her being a bit of a dick to everyone? You witching me. Why? Are you afraid? Nice. I like this attitude. Sweet. This is I'm interested in this. You Oh wait, they have stuff on their bald spot. The smiley face definitely was not on purpose though, right? 
<laughs> nah, it wasn't. That would be hilarious though, I really wish it was. He was like, nah, fuck it, I don't want to cross. Smiley face me, Boris. Oh, oh Merlin, what are we going to do now? Are we, are we being aggressive or are we being kooky? Bad things happen to those who speak my name aloud. See, he's back to being badass and edgy and rugged. And right, I, I get it. I think as his character, that's that's the th that's the shtick. I think a lot of it is... What? Okay, that's kind of... It's gross, but it's cool. Okay, this is the thing. I don't dislike Merlin. I don't dislike him. I just, the way that he was introduced was odd, considering the next scene with him in. That's all. Because I'm, I, 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 it's cool. It's like, you know, that's the whole shtick, I think. He's, he's, I think he's legitimately a drunk and he just, you know, he's a little bit kooky, but he, he has the, the aggressive, the badass, the rugged as a, you know, facade that makes people fear him and do what he wants, that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the character and that's cool and I, I mean, I'm in for that. It was just a weird way to introduce him for me, which made the next scene a bit jarring. How did he get there? They rode quite quickly on horses. The only way he'd have caught up with, was with a horse and how, 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 how? Okay, sure, sure, accept it. Just accept it, Tyler. You came all this way just to return a cloak. Okay, so he brought a horse, but it's like, how did he get there? And how did they not see his horse, hear his horse? Why is the friend still here? You're Faye, aren't you? I haven't met your kind before. Right, so Faye are quite overtly yeah. magical. That's why she's not necessarily who's been killed. The wine's awful, but company's good. Why is the friend still here? Stop being so obvious. Like, oh my God. I'd look at the friend like, the friend's like, be cool. Bit stop it. Be oh, another transition. Cool. Stalking. This whole scene is just gonna be their love interest igniting and fanning the flame of that shit. Sorry, but if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I'm not a fan of the obligatory love interest. But this is the point. It's in so many of my videos because it happens so often in everything. And it's like, we don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't. Fine, sure. Just fuck. Oh, head. Did I hurt you? She nutted you, mate. Very what do you mean, fun. did you, did you hurt her? Take her out, mate. Take her the fuck out. Ooh, he looked way aroused by that. Do it, just kiss him. Just kiss him, get it over with. Let's just do this thing. Let's just dive in head first. Go on, go on. Oh my God, okay. Where was she last night when they were fighting and flirting and stuff? Where was the friend? I don't trust the friend. I don't trust the friend. I don't get why she's still there. If she's wingmanning, she needs to fuck off. Go on then, tell me what happened. Oh, so she Come did on. fuck off. Your eyes roll back and everything. Wait, are we talking about the vision or what? Hang on, wait, what? I'll be honest, let her go. She's holding you back. Do you know what? She's not even holding her back. I just don't like the character. Fuck her. What? Give me more of that. Good scene. This is a good scene. Fuck me. Oh, it's kicking off, mate. It's gonna be a big explosion of magic, I bet ya. I like this guy. He's got Nazgul vibes, you know? Oh, he bows to them? Oh, you just lost so much credibility in my eyes, buddy. Fuck him, mate. It's a trap. Run like you do in our fox races. Fast the fox. Nice! He committed. He looks quick. He looks quick. I beat him. I bet I beat him. I'm quick. Got long legs, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> I just thought it was... It... Tell me if I'm wrong. Am I the only one that thought he was getting sucked off? Mother? Ah, oh, well. I've gone. I should... was... She's sitting up fine. Like, where's the blood coming from? There's a trail of blood and she found her laid down and then she just sits up. <gasps> I'm dying. Hang on, wait, I've got this sword though for you. Hang on, wait, I put it somewhere here. Just a minute, just... It's a very odd scene. See, I like Merlin. I do like Merlin. I have a feeling, right, as the season goes on, because obviously Nimue is going to go... I think Nimue is going to go meet Merlin and that... Their characters would be quite interesting to see together. I feel like she's a little bit sassy, he's a little bit kooky. That could be a nice little mix. Oh, 
Okay, that's kind of cool. Ooh. That was some shifty CGI, wasn't it? They were doing so well by keeping the wolves at arm's length a little bit so they, they look better, but don't, don't do a close-up. That was a little bit of a shitty ending. That was just, it was very poorly done. <laughs> but okay. Okay, I'll be honest, right? That wasn't that was that was better. That was actually I'm I'm more into this than I thought I'd be. Like it it was better than what I thought it was going to be. It's still not great. I'll be honest with you. I'm not super but but like I could I feel like from watching the first episode I could then watch the rest of the series. More so cuz Merlin's kind of interesting uh despite the initial blip. Uh, it was kind of cool. It was kind of fine. It was kind of fine. But, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to watch the last episode. I'm just going to skip ahead, watch the last episode, see what I think, see what's going on. And at the end of all that, I will decide whether it's worth watching the whole... feel like, I, like whether it's worth watching the whole season or whether I'm like, eh, who cares? Who cares? Whatever. Whatever. Um, I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like Nimue is gonna go meet Merlin. That's gonna be quite a cool interaction. But there's ten episodes. They can't just be kooky and cool and whatever for like ten episodes. Maybe they can. I don't know. Who knows? I'm not gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what else is gonna happen, really? She's gonna come into her powers and stuff. And I guess you know the whole legend about the Lady in the Lake is that she she's stuck at the bottom of the lake, right? Or or she's linked to the lake. I don't know. My Arthurian mythology is sketchy. I mean, I'm going to assume that they're going to milk this for as many seasons as, as they can. But it'd be pretty cool if, 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 you know, at the end of season one, she's then stuck in the lake and that's the fucking thing. That's the whole thing. You know, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, but yeah. Hello guys, that is the end of the video. Um, I originally intended to make this one whole video and it went on too long. So uh, what I'm going to do is split the first episode and the last episode into two. Depending on when you're watching this video, the second video might be up already. So if you enjoyed this, go watch that. If not, um, it will be out next week. So uh, keep your eye out for that. If you want to see it, make sure to subscribe, tick that bell button and you will be told when it's ready. So thank you for watching guys and see you next time.